Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm gonna to be going over my favorite concealer formulas and other reasons that I love them because of the shade range that they get really, really light, light enough to actually highlight my face, and that they get really, really deep, good enough for other skin tones to be able to use. So if you're excited for the video, give it a thumbs up and let's just get right into it. So the first one on my list is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Now I really, really like this concealer because the formula I like how it looks it goes on smooth it doesn't crease too badly and I also love that it gets light enough to actually brighten under my eyes a lot of times I cannot find a concealer this light it looks like literally almost white so it definitely does brighten and it isn't this light once it dries down it does dry down a shade or two darker so it doesn't look too crazy underneath my eyes but I really love this formula because it is creamy it is pretty full coverage I would say it's medium to buildable full coverage and and it doesn't crease too badly plus they have a lot of shades for all different types of skin tones and needs and it is also a very affordable concealer so that is another plus in its book uh, a lot of people don't like this concealer but I feel like it became an instant hit for most people most people really really like it especially because the price point and because so many different skin tones are able to access it easily and use it so I definitely love the ColourPop no filter concealer formula and and shade range. The next formula that I really like is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I love this because they actually expanded the size and now you can get a bigger size. I love the formula. It's super full coverage. A lot of people did compare this to the Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't really agree with that. It's a lot creamier. It's not as drying and it's not quite as full coverage, which is okay with me. I don't really have like dark circles under my eyes or anything. I really just like using concealer to brighten a little bit and to kind of get rid of a little bit of redness, but I don't really need it to have super full coverage and I feel like concealer can pull a look together. I also like this because it is also affordable and there are so many shades to choose from, so this is definitely a plus in my book and I reach for it all the time. This is actually a brand new one that I haven't opened, so it looks like I don't use it a lot, but I have a lot of concealers and this is definitely one that I reach for over some other ones. The next concealer that I really do like is the Lancome Tante Idole Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer. It's got a real long name, but I really like this because they do have a lot of shades and this is super 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 full coverage it is not super affordable but when you break down how much you get in here let me see you get almost half of an ounce of product when whereas most other ones you don't even get like half of half an ounce so you get a lot of product in here and it is super super full coverage I don't really use this one for under my eyes because it is not totally brightening I use it for more like spot concealing because it is more my skin tone and on the back I just notice they actually have like a 090N which is the shade that this is and they say that it goes good with the 010 beige porcelain to lighten under the eyes now that is really cool I th I'm pretty sure that's how you use that I'll have to look it up if it's if it's not how you use it I'll put a little note right here but they do have two shade names on here but I know that this is the 090 Avoir <laughs> neutral, but I do like this one. It is a little pricey, but when you break the price down with how much product you're getting and how pigmented it is, it will literally last you a long, long, long time. And it is a really great formula that doesn't crease or anything like that. So this next concealer that I really love, I talk about a lot on my channel. The only downside is the shade range is not that great. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I believe they have like eight to 10 shades, but it doesn't go very deep and it doesn't, it used to not go very light. The, the, I feel like they added another light shade. I have the shade Ivory right here. I used to use the shade, the shade Fair is what I used to use. And now the shade Ivory I discovered is actually lighter than the shade Fair, which is weird because usually it's like flip but um, yes this is a really good eye brightening color but I love this formula so freaking much it does not crease under my eyes and if if you've watched my channel at all like you can even literally see the creases under my eyes like I just have natural creases and concealer creases on me so easily and this one does not I mean I will always have creases but it doesn't make the makeup like bunch up in the creases and look weird like I can pull my eyes down and it will just look smooth still so it doesn't make my creases creases look any more creasy if that makes sense but I love this one also because it is a great price and you can get it at so many places like the grocery store the drugstore Amazon 
you can get it at so many different places but i really like this formula if they have a shade that you think will work for you i definitely suggest trying it i think this is actually my favorite formula out of all of the concealers that i have here today because it just works so well and if you have a foundation that doesn't look good under your eyes this will fix it i feel like this this concealer just looks awesome with every single foundation that i've ever used it with which is quite a few but i definitely recommend the maybelline instant age ruin concealer the next concealer that i really like is the kylie cosmetics concealer and I use the shade pearl this is really good because it is super light so I can definitely brighten underneath my eyes really really good with this um, I like it because there are a lot of shades and a lot of times concealers don't get light enough this definitely isn't like a really cheap option I believe it's like $30 but I do like it because of the shade range and because this concealer does feel a bit sticky so I feel like it really sticks to the skin it's like stickier it's not as creamy as other concealers are and I feel like it definitely does just stick to my face and stay in place all day and I really like this especially just because of the shade range options that it has and the fact that it gets light enough for my skin tone the last concealer that I really really like and have been using a lot lately is the morphe fluidity foundation not foundation concealer I like the foundation too though I like this because it is really creamy it's not too drying I feel like it has like a satin matte finish and it definitely is light enough to brighten underneath my eyes and they have a lot of shades I think they have like what is it 30 shades in their concealer maybe more I'm not totally sure but they have a lot of shades and it is pretty affordable I think this is like ten dollars maybe less I can't quite remember and it doesn't crease on me I really like it this is actually the concealer that I am using today and as you can see it definitely does brighten a little bit and it looks pretty good under the eyes it's creasing a little bit but it's not making my creases look worse it works pretty well with every foundation that I've tried it with so far which is quite a few in the last month if you go back and look at my like past few videos in the past few weeks I've used this a handful of times but I really do like this concealer a lot because it's a good price with a good shade range next I want to go over a few concealers that I don't really like that much there are some in here that I actually used to like but more after using more concealers and stuff like that I've realized that they don't really fit my needs or the shade range isn't that good and all of that stuff so the first one is one that I used to love and use all the time and that is the NARS radiant creamy concealer now the only reason that I don't like this one is because I feel like the second that I buy it it's it's empty I feel like nothing comes out on this little thing and I also feel like it doesn't go light enough I have the shade vanilla which is light too and I used to use this for under my eyes I do like how it's a nice neutral almost pink undertone and it looks light enough in the tube but I just feel like I have other concealers that are way more brightening if I want that effect I haven't used this in a while I do love the formula and I love the finish I really like all of that I just don't like that I feel like they don't fill the tube up enough I feel like they fill it up to like right here and not like to here I just feel like you're getting not as much as you're paying for especially since it is $30 and you just get such little product it's 0.22 ounces so it's barely anything in this thing for $30 now I do love the formula but I don't like I don't feel like you get the value for your money the next concealer that I really don't like is the beauty bakery cake face concealer and that is because this shit is just so freaking orange like it's supposed to be a neutral undertone and on camera it looks nice and neutral but in real life it just looks so orange it's not even a good color for just my skin tone it's it's darker than it so I can't really use it for anything this is in the shade don't give a frap and I believe this is the second shade and there is one shade lighter but I've seen even I never went to buy the one that is even a little bit lighter because I've seen so many people say it's still not light enough and it's too yellow and like they didn't test it on people who would actually use that that color or they did test it on people who are like in the light shade range but they don't have a fair shade range so the shade range is not very good for this for the lighter side and I understand it's a black owned brand and everything like that but like their whole selling point was it's got a good shade range for everyone I remember them specifically saying everyone is gonna have a shade so 
everyone doesn't have a shade. I don't have a shade. I know the light one is going to be too yellow because I've seen a lot of people with neutral and cool undertones say, I just can't use the product. So I never even tried the foundation because I feel like I'm scared they're not going to have a good shade for me. I think the foundation range is a little bit better, but I really don't like the color of it. And I also think it's weird how it dries down like a liquid lipstick. Like you can see the wet little line right there, but the rest of it is totally like dry and very liquid lipsticky. I watched Jackie Ina's video on it and even she didn't really like the formula. Like I could tell she didn't like it, but she didn't want to say she didn't like it because that's like her friend who owns the brand. She tried like three or four different ways and she was just like, it dries really fast. So she put a positive spin, but you could tell it was like really hard to work with and you had to buy like a face oil to make it work. So I just overall don't really like this one. I wanted to like it a lot and I love the packaging. I love the freaking blue. That's my favorite color. I love that it's called cake face i just i want them to come out with more shades of this so i can try it out the next one that i really don't like and it has a big following like people used to really love it not so much anymore but this is the nyx hd studio photogenic um what shade do i have it in porcelain it also seems a little bit dark this was before like even like skin products got light enough now People compared this to the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS and you see how much lighter that is. It just, it just shows that that is so freaking dark. And even this is like a little bit yellowy for my skin tone, I believe. But people compared this one to NARS, like a, a cheaper dupe for it. And it's a little bit more watery in my opinion. It's not quite as creamy. And I feel like it was always a little bit bit peachy yellow for my skin tone like it just it could be a good spot concealer but for under the eyes I never really liked it and I don't feel like the coverage is that great and I I think I got it because I wanted to pay less for the radiant creamy concealer from NARS but I just never reached for it I didn't like the coverage I didn't really like the color they might have more shades but this is the shade that I have and yeah it's it's not my favorite it's definitely not my favorite and the last one that I don't like is the Fenty Beauty matchstick and I have the shade porcelain now it has good coverage and everything like that I just don't like this for under the eye because it is so tuggy it pulls under the eye a lot I have the match sticks in the shade I believe it is amber yes in the shade amber for contouring and I really like that one but because the cheeks are way less sensitive than under the eye like this one just pulls under the eye I like the shade and everything like that it's a really good nice neutral shade you see how pink neutral pinky this one looks in in the camera it doesn't look as pink but in in real life it looks super salmon-y in in the viewfinder it looks real neutral but this one is definitely a better shade and way, way lighter. So to use this one, I have to like warm it up first. And it's just kind of a little bit of a hassle. I mean, I don't hate it, obviously. And I do like the formula once blended out. But I just feel like the application is a little bit difficult. Well, that was my whole video on concealers. The ones that I love, the ones that I don't love so much. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what concealers you like and what concealers you don't like. And I thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.